Hello, how are you guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna come on and do a little afternoon Reiki so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I do have on, I believe if I did it correctly, <laughs> the uh, subs if you subscribe, you should be able to comment and then at the end, I'll turn it on for everybody. So, okay, yay, I did it right. Okay, good. Um, if you are new here, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing and I am a Reiki Master Practitioner, Jin Chen Jitsu Practitioner. And today I'm just gonna be doing some Reiki. Reiki is a healing art that just helps to balance our mind, body, and spirit. All you have to do is just be open, receive happy Wednesday to you too. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Just move in some energy. Hope you guys have had a good week and had a good Halloween. And now we are in to November, which is crazy to me. And with Reiki, it's all about our intention. So you can set an intention. If you're just wanting to reduce stress or anxiety, or if you have something in particular, you can just set that intention. I'm going to ground us in with the root chakra singing bowl. chakra, base of the spine, red in color. All about grounding our energy. moving all that energy down from the top of our head down to the root to 
down our legs to the soles of our feet. So the root chakra can become blocked when we worry again about all of those survival things, our job, financial, home, if you're moving, if you're in a transition. So it's important to ground, keep that root chakra open. Beautiful red color. Or if you have any physical pain there in that lower back or sciatica, Just remember to breathe, breathe and receive, breathe and Bring in the tuning fork, 528, miracle frequency. I'm going to bring in a little, this is petrified wood and actually the black part, they said that um, it's petrified wood that has been struck by lightning. So this is what we're going to use for our grounder today. Best way to ground, of course, is being out in Mother Nature, standing barefoot if you can, on the ground. Just visualize everything you're wanting to let go. Just imagine all that stress leaving your body, going into Mother Earth and let her just transmute that. You don't have to hold on to it. Just go for a walk, clear your head. And I'm gonna play that root bowl one more time before we move up to our sacral, just because I love the root bowl. <laughs>
We are now going to move up to our sacral chakra, beautiful orange color, vibrant, uh, right below the navel. Uh, if you have any physical issues there with reproductive or bladder, lower back, sending healing to that. Releasing any fear. We hold a lot of fear energy there. And if you are a subscriber, when I'm in the chakra areas, if you have something and I'm working in particular, like in that part of your body that you would like help on, you can comment. sacrals, all water energy, going with the flow, creativity, abundance, joy. Letting go of fear. I'll tell you a funny story. This is, it's funny um, here in a bit, but let me get through has to do about fear and anxiety with me <laughs> it'll make you guys feel better if you have any because we all have it you when I get up to the solar plexus yes when I'm pulling you can just visualize you know, what it is that you need help releasing or letting go personal power So just visualize that fear leaving your body, anxiety. And think about what you want to bring into your life. So with that sacral, like you said, it's all about joy, creativity. Have you felt like you've been in like a stagnant blah, you know, not moving forward. So just visualize bringing more of that in. And our chakras, they come out this way and the back. So if you have lower back issues in that region, that would be sacral chakra. Let's just move the energy down. Just feel it like almost draining from your head. Just allow it to flow all the way down. Down to those lower chakras. Down your legs, down to your feet, to your soles. To your feet and just visualize all that draining into the earth.
to breathe. With Reiki, you can watch me, you can close your eyes, you can have this on and do other things. Listen to your own intuition, do what feels right. Thank you. And again, if you are new here, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing. I'm just doing some Reiki. Voice for your highest good. Sacral chakra singing bowl. We are now gonna move up to the solar plexus. So our power center, bright yellow like the sun. This is our fire energy, personal power. Help, helping to strengthen that. Digestion issues. stomach issues. As far as emotions, we hold a lot of worry. We also hold anger in this area. So helping with that and releasing that. So if you struggle with self-esteem or self-worth or self-confidence, this would be an area that you want to work on. Standing in your power, knowing your worth. Thank you, thank you so much for the rose. All 
also removing all energetic cords. A lot of times, especially if you're an empath, a lot of energetic cords. It's almost like you're, you know, when we give our power away, we don't mean to, right? But, but when we let others make us feel small or, or we don't want to do something and we're like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. But really, we don't really want to do it. And it, then you kind of feel like, gosh, I feel like I, that's, person's taking advantage of me or whatever that might be. That's all about your solar plexus. So bringing back all your personal power back to you. Just visualize, just bringing all of that back yellow golden energy that's all yours you don't need to give it away so bringing all of that back into your own energy mantras you can say I am strong I am powerful I am determined I am worthy I am strength I am confident we forget that and sometimes we our mind it's like oh man we think about all the things that we're not or we could do better think about all the awesome things that you are thank you so much sometimes that can be hard Maybe you've been in an environment where you've heard that a lot. Like maybe you've heard not kind things or, um, and so that affects, that affects us, our self-esteem. So removing all of that, removing all those cords of toxic energy. I love you back. From past relationships, work life, whatever it is. You're sick with the flu? Okay. I'll send healing, Teresa. You can even visualize just almost that sun energy, fire energy filling up your belly. Almost like that fire energy allowing it to transmute anything that feels heavy, that you're wanting to let go of. Allowing you to shine bright in your path. You need to get your gallbladder removed. Okay, well, let's send, we're, we're in that area, so I'm gonna send some extra healing. The gallbladder too. Releasing all stored anger and worry. Any anxiety we hold in our stomach, you know, like when our stomach feels like it's in knots, we can't even eat. Your digestive system is not regular anymore. Yeah, and that happens. Our stomach and our digestion system is, is, um, really affects our mental health. There's a big correlation there. 
So that gut health is really important. It's like listening to your gut. It's our second brain. It's our second, right? So let's send a lot of healing. Sounds like a lot of people need healing for the solar plexus. Just removing stagnant energy, blocked energy. So a calmness. I love you back. Thank you so much. That's any anxiety. Ooh, let's pull all of that out and worry. Get rid of that nastiness. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Also, your back, uh, mid-back too, if anyone has, which would be like right here, pain, discomfort. If you have the flu, sending it for if you're nauseated, can't eat. You. Teresa, yeah, yeah, sending for the flu, and if you're nauseous. One thing that you can do, Teresa, is, and your back, yeah, um, when you're laying, if you're laying in bed, so if you hold your thumb like this, okay, just hold, you don't have to like it too, even if you put your, in this fatty part, just really hold it and breathe into it. And Jin Shin Jitsu, this is all about the stomach, stomach and spleen, also helping with digestion. If you have an upset stomach, worry, energy. So just holding that and breathing. And then you can go to the next one and just hold that. That helps with that stomach, digestion, that energy. So. You're welcome. Let's bring in tuning fork, 528, miracle frequency. Thank you.
So solar plexus singing bowl. Just listen to the sounds. Notice where you feel it in your body. Do you feel it in your solar plexus? Do you feel it somewhere else? Frequency tuning fork is so amazing. I love it. I'll play that again. Do it one more time. <laughs> it I room even to help center you if you're feeling like off, like oh wow, I am way ungrounded all over. Just listening to that sound, putting it next to your ears. Maybe you've had just massive amounts of chatter. So, all right, solar plexus. I'm going to do um, <clears throat> two different ones. I'm actually going to do some Howlite, which is a calming, but for those that have a lot of anxiety in this area, need to calm it down, maybe don't feel good, just some soft energy. Highlight is great for anxiety. One of the best. Very calming. I'm gonna bring in a little of this as well. So this is actually amethyst that um, has been heat treated um, with the yellow energy like citrine. Just And we're gonna do one more. Cutting all those cords too, just whoosh. And really when I say energetic cords, um, fire truck. <laughs> uh, I like to think of them like you can visualize this. So if you have been in a, in a relationship, a toxic situation, I don't care where it is, work, at home, um, you can almost, you know, we're still sometimes and you still, still feel like energetically connected to that person. It's almost like, I say like, almost like an invisible uh, umbilical cord, okay? And it's like where it's like, you just, you, you still, you just still feel them. So it's removing those cords. A lot of people will say, cut the cords, which is great and fine. You can do that. I like to visual, visualize it like a weed. We're pulling that from the root. I don't want any leftover. I don't want any remnants. <laughs> pulling it through from the root, sending it to the light, allowing their energy to go back to them, my energy back to me. We are no longer connected. All, of course, in peace, love. So yeah, it's just kind of separating that energy. It gets intertwined. But I'm gonna do some uh, selenite just to help clear that. Thank you. Perfect. Well, let's move up to the heart chakra, cutting it all. Yes. And, um, yeah, if you, um, subscribe, um, you can, uh, it, when I'm on a particular place on the body, then just let me know if you have, 
issues and I will work on those for you. And I, it, I do have an option now, I didn't last time, where I can do lives for subscribers only. I believe, because I, I was like, what, I can't, so I'm really excited about that. I think the only thing I it said, I can't have music or something, but that's okay. So it would be a very, very intimate small group. Can we use blue kyanite when we get to the upper chakra? Yeah, I can definitely do that. So, okay. All right, I'm just gonna move some of this energy before I get to the heart chakra. Yes, yep, I only have the subscriber uh, comments on, so you are right. This has just comments, but anybody can come on. They have some where it's just only live, like only, it's, it's a live only for the subscribers, where this is like for everyone, but just the subscribers can comment right now, because you guys know that usually I always have my comments off until the end. Just moving that energy down. Visualize all stress, worry, just leaving your body. repost this to YouTube so if you can't watch all of it or came on late or you can go back there I post all of my lives there so if you miss them they're all there uh, the link is in my bio So do thank you um, in-person and distance sessions so if this resonates with you um, you can book thank you I love you too uh, the links in my bio just remember I will never reach out to you um, asking you if you want to reading it you know there's those fake accounts so please 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 just know Let's move up now to the heart chakra. Okay. 
Really just relax the shoulders. Try and just notice and then pull, pull your shoulder, just pull that whole area back. Because we don't realize like, as we're like this, their phones, computers, so just open that chest. Beautiful green, emerald green color. It's your heart chakra. Just clearing, I'm just like clearing all heaviness, stress off that chest area, also that higher back. sadness, grief, and self-love, 100%. Compassion for ourselves. We can be our worst critic. So sending healing to allow you to be gentle with yourself. nurturing to yourself. And just allow all those negative thoughts in your head or just allow them to drift away. learning how to receive, especially if you're constantly giving, that feels good, you're comfortable with that. But when it comes time for you to receive, even nurturing, self-care, anything, it's like, oh wait, I don't deserve that. Like, oh, what is this? We don't even realize that that can be difficult or that we're resistant to it kind of an interesting odd thing is it <laughs> because we all want it right and so it's like why am I being resistant this is so again it's that self-love compassion knowing that you are worthy and beautiful in all your essence Also this high heart area, clearing that. This is also whoever said, um, Teresa said uh, for the flu. So just like giving love to um, our thymus here for our immune system. This is like the bridge, right? From our heart to our throat. So when we stuff down emotions or we don't receive, it's like, it, it like, becomes like a block, like it can't, our heart to our throat, our throat, to, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me and that's why I do it. Um, so I'm happy that it's helped with your mental health and thank you. So just allow 
this right here. You can even like kind of rub down here. It's like place your hands here, give it some love. That high heart is turquoise in color. with the heart chakra and again about compassion for ourselves and that can get blocked when we're constantly trying to to um it's okay if we feel angry or have bad days or mess up or are sad or depressed or all we can do is literally get up to go to the bathroom and get back into bed and wake up the next day so it's having gentleness and compassion with ourselves and knowing that we are worthy and lovable and even in our not good moments we're just are more difficult it's not even not good it's like normal it's, we're human we all go through it some days more challenging So if you want to sit on the couch and do nothing and eat chocolate all day, then do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe don't do it every day, you know, but whatever. It's like, screw it, you know? And don't beat yourself up about it. It's all good. Tomorrow's a new day. Did my screen just get darker or is it just me? I don't know. All right, I am going to do tuning fork again. go back to um I'm gonna go back to the heart chakra after this full oh heart chakra singing bowl tightness where it feels like that anxiety is just sitting there just let that go almost like pressure
maybe you're a mom or a dad and man being a mom or a dad is hard you're doing the best that you can everything that you can and you're still like you're beating yourself up like <laughs> stop you're doing amazing the only thing that matters is just giving your kids love and let all of that go I don't know why I felt the need to say that but I did <laughs> you're doing great Sending love, healing, light, compassion, forgiveness, self-love. Love you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Ooh, I got a new crystal. <laughs> and I am so ex Can you, does this, is this just my film where I look darker or do I look darker if anyone can this is malachite for the heart chakra oh i don't know if you can see it because of the light there you go you might be able to i just got this this is our mother's crystals if you guys saw uh we did a crystal talk our very first one on sunday and it was awesome we're gonna do another one and it's gonna be all about abundance how to bring that in um so what it, it does looks good okay so it must just be my phone i don't know um so anyways we're gonna start doing that maybe monthly so but that malachite oof check that out yeah you love the crystal talk good yeah so yeah i'm excited it was it was a lot of fun and um, i'm glad you liked it so yeah um November 19th, I think. I think that's a Saturday. Well, we're going to do it again. All right. Oh, I know. I haven't done. Let's do high pitch, just clearing crystal tuning fork. This one's high pitch, so. Okay, so we are now moving up to our throat chakra. If you guys are on Instagram, I'm on Instagram. I, I post a lot to my stories every day. Like I'll post inspirational things, um, YouTube. Okay, throat chakra blue and color, ocean blue, all about speaking our truth. If you have um, thyroid, sore throat, uh, even like um, in your jaw, TMJ, tightness, and I'm gonna work up here in your ears, sinus, just back and neck, all of this, okay? Visualize beautiful ocean energy. All right, I'll work on um, your TMJ while I'm up there. I can't, I'm sorry, my eye, you guys know my eyes are bad. Devin's, I can't, <laughs> but I see you. Just clearing any blocks. So that our throat chakra can get 
blocked when we feel like we can't speak our truth, almost like a um, TMJ too. Okay. Uh, if we feel like our someone's not allowing us to speak our truth, or we we don't, or like afraid, and we just that's why we get that lump in the throat, and then it goes here, and then that's all that. It's all whoosh, there. So just moving that energy. Sore throat. Let's do ears. All here. Like, think of all the noise, all the chatter, everything that you just. It's all in that space. you can like try and just relax that jaw allow your tongue just to kind of not be at the at the roof of your mouth tension in your face TMJ Clench your jaw. Also allow the shoulders. If you notice you're like this, like just move your body a little and just thank you. can just imagine like I'm almost like pulling like sometimes I'll visualize it it's almost like think of all these words that you didn't say that like you feel like are stuck almost like this like cord of like words I don't know how to describe it but it's almost like I'm like pulling it out right I'm just like oh you've kept all of that in there and it's like pulling all of that out Okay, one other one. <laughs> if you're one that says, it goes here and then you get in your head and then it goes here and then you get in your head. So maybe you spoke your truth or you said something and now you're obsessively thinking, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Did I say that weird? I wonder if I said that wrong. Was I rude? Maybe I should, okay, stop. <laughs> All right, let it go. Whatever you said, 
was great. It's like that overthinking. seen on that one okay yeah those are the worst it's like did I say that I wonder if I said that rude maybe I shouldn't have said that maybe that was too much information why did I do you know <laughs> and then you're like thinking oh gosh just yeah that's also a grounding thing that's when you need to do this that's when it's like get out of your head move that energy down to your root, focus in on your root and your breath and allow all those thoughts just to drain from your head. Yes, and then apologizing, oh, I'm sorry, yes, right? And it's like, oh, you don't need to apologize. Let's do tuning fork here. That didn't work very well. Let's go up and down. Wow. 
last year. to the third eye, indigo in color. Helping with our intuition, connecting and listening and trusting ourselves, our higher self, clearing anxiety from that area, allowing peace, calming the mind, calm. So just notice if your like brows, you know, furrowed and just try and relax all up here. Relax your brow, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Calming your mind. You can visualize beautiful indigo color, like the night sky, lots of stars. I always say the northern lights. Also like the back of the head, so headachey. Again, you can always go back to these, like maybe it's a specific chakra that you just want to watch. So you can fast forward all the other parts. So I'll upload this tonight. So allowing that third eye to open. 
so you can get those messages, those visuals, that inner guidance from your higher self. But again, it's all about trust. So you have to trust in your in yourself first. Like, oh, sorry, I just went low power mode. Hold on. Sorry, hold on, wait just a second. I put my charger right by me. Oh, here it is. saying yeah so with the third eye it's a lot is about trusting yourself the messages that you receive your own intuition but you first have to just really kind of calm your mind down and I I am a huge advocate if you're wanting more visualizations, connecting in that way, guided imagery meditations. Allow your mind to wander where it guides you through beautiful things. And maybe at the beginning you're not that great. Maybe you're a natural. I find that a lot of creative people, artists, uh, can do that naturally. Maybe it's something you work up to. Guided imagery meditation really helps to strengthen that. I remember when I was a little girl and I would get to a place, you know, wherever we were going, maybe we were traveling, and I would think, well, this is nothing like I pictured it, you know, being a little kid. And that's, you know, because when people are telling you the story of what it's going to be like in your mind, you're creating this, wow, you know, or maybe it was everything that you pictured. Do you ever um, administer guided meditations? Yeah, I could do a guided meditation on here for sure. I love guided meditations. I actually, I do, I did do my first one on um on youtube it's about the chakras um i think it's like 10 minutes long um but it's important when you do guided meditation that you like the person's voice that it resonates with you you know on youtube so find one that you like you know maybe it's shorter maybe it's a place you know do you like going to the beach do you like uh fantasy you know like where you're gonna see unicorns and you know Find something that resonates with you. But that will help to strengthen the third eye and those visuals for that clairvoyance.
to dream. Tuning fork, 528. You can hear that, I have that plugged in, so. That's right. This is Soul Delight. This is also great for sleeping, helping you to sleep, calm your mind. Just move that energy down one last time. Where are your new bells? Oh, I'll do that one. Yes, thank you. I love them too. for reminding me.
Let's do the bells. Oh, they have such a beautiful sound. And I always think it's like clearing. It's just like clear, clear the energy. You know, it's like clear. Wipes everything clean. important to drink lots of water through this because we're moving shifting energy throughout our body it sounds weird you know but Reiki it doesn't matter time distance space we're all energy okay crown you love the bells oh me too I love them. I think they're so, the sound, it's just so beautiful. So that's, we'll use those for the crown too because I, I haven't got my new bull yet. <laughs> crown for the crown or, oh, third eye. Okay. So crown chakra, top of the head. All right, I think of it like a cone almost going out. Uh, beautiful. Purple color. Just imagine, we don't have to, but if you want, imagine like a beautiful, actually, I'll show you. I love visuals. Where is that one? Oh, hold on. Imagine like a light, <laughs> a waterfall of light that looks like this, like almost iridescent, but beautiful with all sorts of radiant, pure, loving, healing energy, just entering into your crown and moving all the way down your body through all your chakras, down your legs, into the earth. Love you back. Boy, just allow it to wash away all that no longer serves you. Just anything, any heaviness, physical, emotional, spiritual, whatever it is. Just allow it to wash away.
Just calming that nervous system down. off your chest Just enveloping you in this liquid, light, healing, relaxing energy. Reiki, you can feel relaxing, um, tingly. Some people cry. Some people, um, some people don't feel anything, and that's okay too. frequency These are Tibetan prayer bells. This is one of my favorite crystals. Um, I know there's this, um, I, I always said an aura amethyst, but I think Dana from Our Mother's Crystal said angelic aura amethyst. <laughs> or angel aura amethyst, which makes sense because that's what I feel like the energy is like. That's probably why I like it. And if you don't follow her, you should. That's what I'm gonna be doing my next live with. You can register, it's free. 
but she's awesome. And we, we're gonna talk a few all about crystals. Um, she is OMC Crystal Shop. But our next one will be on abundance, how to bring that in, manifestation, using crystals, but also Reiki or just your intention. And um, so, yeah, it's all about, and you can ask questions. Um, we'll have it on. Um, What else do I want to use? Do this one. <laughs> that crystal just made you subscribe. <laughs> I will tell her that. Well, you you should follow. You're you'll be obsessed with uh, uh, Dana's page, OMC Crystal Shop. I mean, the crystals that she has. I am not kidding. They are unbelievable. So she's she's awesome. And her videos, her TikToks are, are great. Um, she does all of her like live sales on Instagram, and her so and she has a big following on Instagram. Oh yeah, I don't know what that. Yeah, <laughs> I love crystals. I have my grandson and the crystals too. Yes. Kids love, well, kids love crystals because they can feel their energy. They're sparkly. They're magical. You know, they're not like kids are awesome. You know, we get adulting and get boring and grumpy. I love you. Uh, I want to do amethyst too. Actually I'll do, let's see. Oh, Kai and I, thank you, thank you. I was like, did somebody ask me? Thank you, oh, you should have said that one earlier. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do the Kai and I. I was like, did someone ask me a question? And I thought I got him. Yes, Kai and I, let's do Kai and I. Kai and I is great. Kai and I is great because it, um, it balances all the chakras. Um, so it balances all the chakras and also your aura, your energy field. It helps to really align. So blue kyanite is great. And then there's uh, black kyanite, which really helps to clear, cleanse, ground, protect, very protective. Oh, you, oh, you should have reminded me because I get like in a zone and then it's like, I, um, yeah, but yeah, this, this is great for a high heart, for throat. I mean, you can even do third eye, but it helps to balance all of them, you know? So it's, it's a amazing crystal to have. This is, this one, it's more chunky. And then this one, to me, it looks like an angel wing. And it's more smooth and flat. That's also blue kyanite. You carry it with you every day at work. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Black kyanite's really good. Protection, grounding. Yeah, I have a crystals and me that is my addiction <laughs> there could be worse things right that's, that's that's what i always say so um i'm gonna ask before i turn on all of the uh comments is there any do, do any of the subscribers have any places oh let me finish up sorry hold on okay, I gotta scrap. let me finish up i'm gonna kind of go over each chakra again and seal this in, ground us, and then I'm gonna um, go back over anything or again, if uh, the subscribers have something. Okay. And then I'll turn on all my comments, all right. So root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, our ears, 
that third eye, our crown. One big one. Sending in, sealing the energy, grounding you, protecting you, keeping you balanced for today, your week ahead. special request let me know and then if not I will turn on all the comments remember to drink lots of water um, yeah all my information is in my bio um, so if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one session it's in there YouTube Instagram all that good stuff and I do have a Amazon storefront page so I have like um, the tuning forks on there um, earrings because uh, people ask about that um, like the different sprays and stuff it's all on there all right so I'm gonna turn on all the comments because I don't think anyone has any special request okay Did I turn them on? No, gosh. Can everybody comment now? Or did I do something? Did I not do it right? I'm still figuring that out. Are all comments on? Cause see, you guys can the sub, the subscribers, but I just I don't know that no one else has. Let me see. I don't think the other people can yet. Hold on. Um, comments. Oh, sorry. Does anybody know how I how I get those back on? Okay, I think I did it. There. <laughs> okay, I kept on hitting comment, comment, comment. Com okay, it worked. Yeah, thank you for being patient. I'm still learning all of this and it can be really confusing. Um, so, so thank you. Um, and if you're new here, um, I'm Molly. Uh, Sunflower Soul Healing. So thank you for being here. And um, yeah, thank you. Um, oh, and this is funny. So I have a question about crystals. Clearing, clearing crystals. Um, so to clear crystals, you could use, uh, you could set them out, set them outside on the ground on you know, the earth and allow, uh, the energy, you know, mother earth to cleanse them. You can put them out in, uh, the moonlight. You can, uh, put them, uh, get sun energy. You can use like this one. This is the crystal. Is this is the crystal tuning fork. So this, you could go over the crystal, that helps to clear it. Um, you can put some in, in water, but I never do that. 
only because it, it can affect some. And then same with sunlight, like there's certain ones that it could affect the color like amethyst. You don't want to, I know, um, rose quartz, um, those, the sun, I mean, it's fine just for a little bit. You just don't want to constantly, yeah, so. Oh, my anxiety story. Okay, no, this is, this is, this is funny. So what I was saying when you get in your head or whatever. So I actually, I, I went over earlier today and I did a, um, we, we recorded it before, so it's not out there yet, but uh, Dana from um, Our Mother's Crystals, she's doing, she's starting a podcast and then a YouTube channel. And so she just had me over, I'm doing what I'm doing right now to talk about what I do, Reiki, you know, every, I mean, Reiki basically and, and what I do. And so we sit down, you know, and, and, and the lights are on and all of that. And she literally is like, I'm like, okay, this is like nerve wracking. And I'm like, I don't know why, like, why am I in my head? This is like, uh, and she, she says, okay, I mean, simple questions, you know, tell me about Reiki. What do you do? You know, whatever. I literally, I was like, uh, went totally blank, totally blank. Couldn't say, probably if she said, what is your name? I was, I'd probably be like, um, my name is, I mean, so, so yeah, it was, but I got through it. So then I had to like get it. I'm like, what in the world? So it's wild, but I'm like, I'm on here all the time talking, you know, and, and here we go. And it was like, it's just a blank, like deer and you know, deer and headlights, like, uh, uh, so yeah. So we all, it all, it happens to all of us. Um, well, Thank you so much, and yeah, the um, YouTube, yeah, that that seems to work out good. If if uh, you can go there, and if you miss them here, or if you, there might be certain ones that resonate with you better. You like ones better than others, um, and yeah. So, I have a, should I be decharging um, your crystal sometimes? I guess I don't know, like, you don't, it doesn't always have to be, like, you don't, you don't have to charge it, you know, every single day. Let's say, like, you use it on you, or you hold it, you know, a couple days, or whatever, um, and then, and then, you know, you know, after a few days, then, you know, you can put it out, and you, it doesn't have to be, like, every single day. Now, if you have, like, a selenite plate or something like that, and you can just stick it on there, you know, when you're done with it, then that's fine. Um, oh, thank you. These are, uh, yeah, these are on, I got these from Amazon. There are, I, uh, these are on the Amazon storefront page. Uh, if you like these on, uh, the links in, in the bio. I love these ones. I think they're, they're cool, but I like the big and bold. Oh, I'm glad that you like the tick, tick tock. Yeah. Um, I love Amazon. Me too. And they have good stuff. You can get really, really good stuff. Um, from there, cute, you know, like these are, yeah, and they're not that expensive, you know, so, uh, yeah, I do teach class, um, so class, I always, right now, and I probably will do a, a group, I just, I enjoy doing private sessions, just because, um, I really get to connect with, you know, whoever I'm working with, and, um, you know, just focus on them and what they're wanting, Reiki, how to use it within their life, their daily life, um, cause you know, not everybody's going out being a Reiki practitioner. I mean, a lot of people are, but some people just, uh, want it for themselves, want it for their family, want it for their animals, want it. So, um, yeah. So, um, for class, you just have to email me and then we set our, our times up, our dates and times first. And then, um, yeah, that's the first step. When are you going live with um, Dana from Our Mother's Crystals, the crystal lady, the crystal matchmaker? Yes. Um, November 19th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when uh, we will be going live and all about abundance and all that. And, and I have it like, and so if you register, all it does is I think it sends you a reminder. Like it's free, you know, so. Do you do certification in Reiki? Yes, yes, I am a um, Reiki master. I'm a crystal lady, but not the crystal lady. Intrigued? <laughs> I, 
Sure. You're the crystal lady, but not the crystal lady. Um, yeah. Any other questions or anything that you guys have? Oh, Dana from Our Mother's Crystals. Yes, Dana from Our Mother's Crystals is who I'm going to be doing my live with. Um, but if you guys follow her, she, it's OMC Crystal Shop on TikTok. And then it's, I think it's Our Mother's Crystals on Instagram. So, um, and I think she's doing a live sale on Instagram next weekend. And you, like, she'll show you all of them. And then you, like, just... You have to be like the first, so it's like, you know, anyone can bid on them, but then you like put in the number and then if you get it, then yeah, you get it. So it's kind of fun, it's neat. And you can just do it in the, in your house, sitting on the couch, which is nice. Oh, from Argentina. Welcome, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, yeah, and if you guys have any other suggestions for, because I think we're going to do uh, that live monthly, you know, what, what you'd want to talk about. The first one, we were it was just like an introduction and kind of asking questions. Next one, manifestation abundance. And then, you know, so. Kyle Richardson. I remind you of Kyle Richardson. I don't know if I know who that is. Kathy Hilton's sister. I have to look. I don't think I know who that is. <laughs> I'll have to look. Kathy Hilton's sister. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. But thank you. And from, ooh, Mexico, Cancun. Oh, gosh. Oh, if I could be in Cancun, Mexico right now on the beach. That would be lovely. Well, I'm going to have to look this up. Kyle Richardson. Okay, I'll have to look her up. Kyle Richardson. Um, are there some Reiki things I could do uh, myself? Yeah, if, well, if you are, um, so with Reiki, you uh, receive, uh, it's called an entombment, or with me, it's called a placement. Um, and that's how um, to do Reiki energy, if that's what you're talking about. But if you have been um, taking Reiki 1 or Reiki 2, yeah, you can do self-Reiki on yourself, um, you know, 100%. I do Reiki on myself all the time. You can Reiki your animals, plants. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can use Reiki within your life. So, um, I might have, oh, misspelled her name wrong. Oh, gosh, I'm a, I'm a horrible speller, so... But, but I'll look her up. I'll look her up. <laughs> um, yeah. You're really, yeah. So, you know, and if you're new to Reiki, there's uh, just, you know, any any books that you can read. I mean, it's very, very simple. It's just basically, I'm not doing anything. It's not my ener energy. Um, it's, it's called universal life energy, but just flowing through to the person. I'm kind of just like a vessel and I allow the energy to flow and it just really helps to, uh, balance you. Like I said, mind, body, and spirit, but like some of those stuck emotions or those emotions that like we hold on to, um, in our body, it just kind of helps to release, relax, calm. Um, it helps our nervous system. It helps us de-stress. Um, which is all really important. Where did you get your other? The Jinshin Jitsu. Yeah, so my, I'm thinking that's what you're saying. My Jinshin Jitsu training. I got here uh, as well uh, where I live. And um, I was fortunate enough at the time I was working at uh, the hospital. And the hospital actually, they wrote grants. And myself, some other child life specialists, some nurses um, were able to, they paid for our training. So it, it was really uh, amazing. I was really fortunate. So they trained, um, um, they trained us. I think I'm trying to remember cause it was back. Like I said, I think it was like 2013, 14, how many it's five days. I think I did, uh, three, you do them 
three five day classes um, or even more yeah so oh you only saw it overseas so yeah with Jin Shin Jitsu I'll see if I can like make a video um, of because it's it's they they'll have they do a lot right now online um, and where I'm at I mean I know that there's a woman who's getting ready to do a class here but I know it's sold out um, a final relaxation final relaxation session but hold on who was that I'll try and um, yeah, did you go to the Jinchen, the JSJ, like, um, site, website? I'm wondering if you did. But yeah, so, because there's people, the teachers are all over the world. They do teach all over the world. Like, I was taught, trying to remember where the woman was from, my first one. She might have been from England. But yeah, they come, they, yeah, my teachers, they come from, they came from all, all over. And you'll be there for the live. Oh, good. Yeah, well, if you want to take a class, I'd, I'd love to teach you. You just, um, you can email me. And um, and then, you know, and some people, it's like they want to talk or they have questions. I'm happy to talk on the phone or do a Zoom call first before, you know, you sign up as well. So, um, can we just do the Reiki one sure yeah you can just do the reiki one usually um i teach reiki one and two together but um reiki one is fine yeah i you know some people reiki one is all about really doing reiki for yourself self-treatment um so reiki one it's perfectly fine. And then if you like it, then you can step a little further and go into Reiki 2. And Reiki 2, you learn symbols and the energy is a little stronger, more powerful. And then, you know, you move up into the uh, master level. And then at that, you can teach. And it's so you receive symbols. And so, but yeah, Reiki 1, perfect, perfect place to start. So, any other questions? You just got your Reiki one. That's awesome. Well, good for you. Yeah, so just use it. Do a lot of self-Reiki. And just the more that you interact with it, the more that you use it, the more, it, you know, it just it uh, becomes just a part of your life, the stronger connection. That's awesome. Congratulations. All right, well... I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And, um, but thank you guys so much uh, for being here. Uh, again, all my information is in the bio. Um, so you can look there if you have any questions. And yeah, great. All right, Teresa. Yeah, yeah. So shoot me an email um, about class, and um, I look forward to it. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's see, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Yeah, I might possibly be back on, let's see, maybe Saturday. Maybe Saturday I'll be back on. Um, but yeah. And like I said, I will upload this to YouTube so you can watch it there if you missed if you missed it or you know just got on or whatever all right bye guys have a good day if i can figure out how to turn it off <laughs>